Hey there, I'm here to show you five fun tips to use the mink, the mink mediums, and my new honey and spice collection. All right, so we're gonna start out with actually using the new embossed paper. So I'm gonna set the rest of my cards aside. And this, this comes as a 12 by 12, and you, you probably can't see it super well because it's white and it's been embossed with words. So it's that fun word texture that I love. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take some of this magic medium and I'm just gonna squirt out about a, a quarter's worth onto my mat and I'm gonna take a makeup sponge and I'm gonna kind of hold it on, on the top part and on the long side, I'm gonna pick up the magic medium and I'm just gonna completely cover the embossed paper. I wanna make sure all of it is covered and it goes on kind of clear. So you'll just have to be able to tell from the wet if you got it all dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and set it aside. Now just one thing, just one little like life hack is that the mink gets really warm. And so if you're working with mediums and you want it to dry, a good thing to do is place the piece that you're working with right on top of the mink and that will help it to dry faster. Okay, the next one that we're going to try is I'm going to show you actually uh, using screen printing. This is one of my favorite things, you guys, to use with the mink. So I'm going to use one of my screens. This one says, just be your beautiful self. This is a self-adhesive screen. And I'm just going to go ahead and peel it off of the backer. It's really important to peel. Oh, my nails are too short. It's really important to peel it off the backer. I've had people try to use it without peeling it off the backer and it doesn't work at all. So go ahead and remove it off the backer and you'll find that it's sticky. Sometimes it's real sticky when you first get it. So I like to put it on my pants or my apron or something just to get some lint on there to make it less sticky. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that right onto this beautiful piece from Honey and Spice. And it doesn't matter what color of screen ink you use for this. This one happens to be the raspberry. You don't need very much either. So I'm just putting out a little bit onto my craft mat and I'm just using a piece of chipboard as a scraper. You could also use like a maxed out credit card or you know whatever you have with a straight edge laying around. And I'm just simply going to grab it onto that scraper and just pull it over the words. I'm kind of trying to be careful that I don't get it off the screen onto the paper where I don't want it. All right, once you've done that, you simply lift the screen up completely. And this can be set aside to dry. Once you're done, you're just gonna wanna use a wet wipe. And I like to wipe the front really good. And then also wipe the back. Once I've got it clean, then I just set it upside down to dry right back on its backer. And once it's dry, you can flip it back around and it's easy to store. All right, we'll just kind of wash off what we have going on here and dry it with a paper towel so that we won't get that on our next project. All right, the next one is kind of similar. But instead of using a screen, we're going to use a stencil. And instead of screen ink, we're going to use texture paste. Now the texture paste is very similar to the screen ink. And we're just going to make another dollop out there on our craft mat. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just use the scraper again. And I'm just going to use the back side of it. And this is just a stencil from my stash. Any stencil will work. I'm gonna go ahead and just lay that right over my paper, pick up some of the texture paste, and just scrape it over the top. Now, I like to go over it and make sure, just with a nice um, even edge, make sure that all of the texture is nice and even. I'll kind of scrape off that edge right there and I'll set it on my mink to dry. All these mediums have to be completely dry before you use them with the mink to add the foil. 
And then we'll just go ahead and clean the stencil and the mat again. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is a fave. And I'm just taking, this is the reactive mist. And I'm just going to kind of spritz. I kind of missed, so make sure that you're using a craft mat. I just kind of spritzed some of the mist medium onto my paper. And I just kind of wanted some little dots of it. So I'm done with that. I'm going to set that aside and just immediately clean the mat again. All right, now the last little trick that I want to show you is super fun and easy. And this whole, the whole Honey and Spice collection, it has like little elements of rose gold foil. So the, the paper doesn't have foil on it. So I wanted to go in with the glue pen and add some spots where I can add some gold foil um, accents. So once the glue is kind of running, I'm just going to go in and on the centers of these flowers, maybe make some dots and some little just some little accents that will look pretty in these flowers. And maybe I'll just add some veins to the leaves. All right. Now, so I've just added a little bit of detail. And again, I'm going to set this aside on the mink and allow it to dry completely. You want to make sure that all the mediums or dry, otherwise they'll kind of just squish out as they go through the mink. All right, now, let's go ahead and start. This, this one feels nice and dry. And we can put a couple of these through at once. All right, I think we'll fit both of these on. So if you remember, this one has the medium on it, the magic medium. And, oh, we gotta make sure. So it's really important that the foil completely covers your, your, the project that has medium on it. Because if there's mink, if there's medium exposed and you put it inside the transfer sheet, the medium will actually stick to the transfer sheet. So we just want the, f the foil to cover it completely. Now we're going to put the mink foil on with the shiny surface up. It's going right into our transfer sheet. And I'm just kind of smoothing it out to make sure that there's no wrinkles. And I'll go ahead and send it through. I'm sending this through on a three. You could probably play with a three or a four, depending on how thick your paper is. OK, now that I'm pulling it right out of the mink, you don't have to let it dry or anything. It's immediately ready to peel back the foil. So here you can see that I've covered that foil with the whole thing, and I'm going to show you what I want to do with that next. And then this one, you can see that that Just Be Your Beautiful Self is foiled and looks awesome. So I love to use that almost just all the time for cards and scrapbook pages, anything really. All right, while I wait for the rest of those to dry for just a minute, I'm going to show you that I thought it would be fun to take now, you could leave this. It looks super shiny and beautiful, and the texture of the word letters really pops out. But you could also take some sandpaper and just lightly sand over the top, which will really enhance that embossed texture. Gives it kind of a fun, distressed, shiny effect. Uh, I love how that looks. Super cool. All right, let's go ahead and send through two more of these. Looks like this texture paste one is ready to go. And the glue pen. And again, I just want to make sure this covers completely. So I'm using my foil scissors that are really nice and sharp and will slide easily over while cutting the foil. Okay, just pulling this out of the mink. 
oh, went ahead and just pulled that all up. And I love the texture. The texture paste kind of gives you this really cool raised effect. Look how fun that pop of foil pattern is, the raised pattern that's on top of the printed pattern. And I just love that contrast. So looks super cool in that, in that rose gold. Now when you look at this one, look how cool this looks. So if you'll remember, I used the glue pen here and I just kind of added some highlights into the leaves and also into the center of the flowers. And it just gives it a totally like elevated effect with those fun gold accents. Really cool. All right, let's send through our last one. Now this, the mist is always the one that takes the long, uh, <laughs> these, these are just, all right. These are not quite long enough to cover. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two on, which is totally OK. You can double up the foil to just to make sure that every bit of it is covered. Now, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is, can foil be reused? And if you have places in your foil, like kind of big chunks in your foil, that have gone through the machine, but they actually didn't get used, these are still reusable. So if you're using kind of small places, or you know, let's say that you have an image right there, you could put this over it and send that whole foil through, and it would then just use, obviously, that part that's reacting. So, if you have these big pieces of foil, then you can keep using those over and over. Okay, and the last one, like I said, was the mist, and I used the foil in two pieces. I love how this looks, and oh, see, this is what happens. Feel, see how that's kind of sticky? But look how cool those flecks of rose gold looks on that super flecked paper. I love it. It just adds so much character and so much interest. And when you feel it, there's like a little raised feeling to it as well. So you guys can have so much fun by adding these beautiful foil effects to the honey and spice paper line. So just to review, here we used the screen. We used the magic medium to cover the embossed paper completely. Here we used the texture paste. And again, I just love to use that with stencils. This is the glue pen. And here I just added some highlights and accents. And then this one, I used the mink mist and just did some little bit of spritzing. This will elevate any of your projects and make it so fun to create with. So grab your, get out your mink and make pretty stuff.